Welcome back, one and all. We're doing our uh, data validation, and uh, we've already validated, make sure that the name has been entered, height has been entered, that it's in the form of a number. Next, we're going to treat inches a little differently. If they don't put anything in inches, it will be zero. In fact, you may want to just add in here the text as zero. And by doing that now, it already has zero inches. The other thing is you might want to adjust the size so you can only fit two digits for inches. By putting it zero in here, we, we accomplish, uh, you know, giving them suggestions. I'm going to take it out though, because I just want to show you, we're going to use, we're going to assume that they might possibly leave it blank. And then we'll deal with weight and we should have it all working. So let's go ahead and go to our code. In our last video, we did this for our feet. Okay, it took us these lines of code. I'm going to do the same thing. So we're going to talk about um, That's our data validation for feet text box. And then we're going to do data validation for inches. Blank field will be zero. Okay. So if oh, txt inches, can't remember if I wrote it out or in get. Text dot equals blank. Now, in the last video, we created our variables. Let's go up here just as a reminder. They have feet, we have inches. Okay. So we're just going to set inches equals zero, like so. Else, if, now we have to check to make sure text inches is not some kind of a text. We only do it after we check for blank because blank will not, I don't think uh, it will be considered a number. So we test for that. That's why we have to have an else if. And then we're going to put in here is number again. Else if what is a number? Well, that will be our txt inches dot get text. So in this case, we're going to put inches equals integer dot parse int, and it's txt inches dot get text. Parse it. We're good on there. Finally, the else block means they wrote it in as text. Okay, so now it's the J option pane. Show message dialog null. It just must be entered as a number. Okay, and we're going to do the uh, txt inches dot grab focus and another return. Each time returning for each type of data validation. So now we're going to do data validation for weight. And that will be just like we did up here for our feet. Now I can just copy, paste, and change your variables, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and type it out anyway, just for the fun of it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I have to do the text. Okay. In this case, if they leave weight blank, they're not zero pounds. That would be a, a severe problem. 
So in this case, we, we're going to have to go ahead and do the J option pane. Ah. <laughs> Better check my variable. Wait, yes I did. And where was I? Wait equals txt wait. Oh no, sorry. Oh, I did. I should have left that there. It's integer. By the way, it's integer. Not integer. You would not believe how many of my programming one students don't know how to spell integer. It's very sad. Anyway. Of course, the running joke is my programming one students just heard me say that on this video. They've been called out. They've been served. Sorry. That's just how it goes. Hey, we're almost done. Whew, a lot of work, huh? Oh, not confirm dialogue. I want to show message dialogue. Let's not yell. Must enter your weight as a whole number. You can feel free to uh, round down if you want. Okay, we're almost there. Now it's txt weight dot grab focus return. All these returns are important because the next and final step is we're going to have to go in, calculate the BMI, and produce the results. Okay. So before we do this, there is the code date, data validation for weight. First of all, we want to make sure that they uh, didn't leave it blank. Then we want to make sure that it is a number. If it is, we set our variable weight. Otherwise, we need to return and they need to start over. Let's go ahead and test it out, though. Make sure it's working. Always, always, always test. Try to break it. Figure out how many different ways you can get it wrong. Submit. Left the name blank. We'll put a name in. This time it's Joe. Submit. You let the feet feel blank. All right, we'll type in five. Oops, please enter feed as a number. Five. Submit. You must enter your weight. Notice it was fine with zero inches. And we'll put in our weight. One. Okay, fine. 198. <laughs> hey, I tried. Actually, I'm not five feet. I'm six feet tall. All right, now, um, and we got a little bit of time here. What about this whole thing of leaving it blank? Maybe. If it, they left it blank, we want to just go ahead and set the text to zero. And then maybe we want to give them one last chance to make sure that that's okay. So let's do that with the zero part anyway. So what that was is that was when we we're talking about our da data validation for inches. And aren't we glad we made a comment there? By adding the comment, I was able to find where it was. So we set this inches equal zero, but let's do it one step further. Text inches, oops, dot set text. And this time, the number zero. Let's run it again. Okay. 
We already tested that out. So I'm actually six feet. Look, zero. I put it in. That way, they'll see zero and they might go, wait a minute, I'm actually six foot seven or whatever. We also have a problem with this label we can fix too. And I'm wondering, yeah. It's actually 197 today, so cut me some slack. All right. I'm working on it. So anyway, there we have it. Uh, oh yeah, the label, that's the last thing I was gonna fix. Let's just line everything up on the right as far as the height, the feet, inches, etc. That's an easy one. You just click on here and you're looking for a horizontal alignment. Click right. Same thing goes here, right, finally here. Well, good after. All right, so let's just do uh, one last test now that I've changed the alignment on the right just to make sure it looks good. And I already have her name. Oops. Yeah. Well, thank you and stay tuned for the next tutorial when we actually calculate the body mass index.